In this video, I want to go over low chlorine levels in your pool. If you like videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and please also smash that like button. That will actually help people find this video and get help with their low chlorine issues in their pool. So if you've been dealing with low chlorine levels in your pool, maybe you're shocking your pool, you're putting chlorine tablets and it's constantly zeroing out by the next day, I'm hoping that this video will help you out. So the first thing that I think of and look at when it comes to low chlorine levels in a pool, I start at the pump first. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your pool is running eight to 10 hours a day, if not longer, in the spring and summertime. Make sure that you have good circulation to your pool. You're gonna want the pool to be circulating. You are gonna want the filter to be cleaned. If you have done all of those and you've checked them and everything's good, now you're gonna to come to the chemistry of the pool. The chemistry of the pool is gonna be very important when it comes to low chlorine level. So my question is, what is your pH? What is your total alkalinity? Make sure that those are in range. Then one of the most important things that you can do and that I see all the time is low stabilizer. That cineric acid is another name for stabilizer. That is gonna be the chemical that's going to lock in the chlorine from the UV rays. The UV rays is a major factor in low chlorine levels. So make sure your stabilizer levels are at 30 to 50 parts per million. If it's lower than 30, I would say that's your problem. Get it up to 30 to 50 parts per million and go ahead and shock your pool with a gallon or two of liquid chlorine depending on the size of your pool. Make sure you have the chlorine tablets. Some other reasons for low chlorine levels in your pool is going to be high bather load. So pretty much you've had a pool party. There's a lot of things that are gonna be getting into the pool. We have sweat, you know, sunscreens. When people go to the bathroom, that's gonna be another thing that can be in the pool. It's sanitizing the water, it's doing its job. There's a high amount of swimmers. Now it needs to be shocked. If you skip that step, usually the pool can zero out. So just make sure that the stabilizer is good, the pH, the total alkalinity. Now, if the stabilizer is super high, that can be another issue altogether. You're gonna to wanna to lower that down to about 50 parts per million. That can go against you. But just remember, whenever your pool zeroes out and there is no chlorine, go ahead and put in liquid chlorine, pretty much shock in the pool or granular chlorine and check it the next day. One other issue that I do see with low chlorine levels in, in a pool is going to be chloramines. I just did a video on chloramines. Check that out after you're done watching this. If you have chloramines in your pool, you're gonna wanna remove those. Cause your free chlorine to be zeroed out sometimes, it can be difficult to get a chlorine reading. So watch that video if you have not already. One other reason for low chlorine levels in your pool may be from contaminants that get into the pool. Was there just a large rain where there was a lot of water runoff that got into the pool? Maybe sand, mud, grass. If you have a chlorine floater, make sure that the chlorine floater stays in the pool. I see that a lot. I'll get to swimming pools the next week. The chlorine tablet dispenser will be taken out of the pool. That actually just happened to me at a pool earlier this a.m the chlorine floater disappeared in your dispenser, whether it's a floater or a regular chlorinator. Make sure that you always have three inch tablets in there. If this is a salt pool and you're dealing with low chlorine levels, most of the time with a salt pool, it's either the production is set to too low, it's not high enough, so it's not producing enough chlorine, or your stabilizer is low. Remember always to shock your pool every two to three weeks and that will help out if you have a large party with a lot of swimmers i would recommend shocking the pool after the party and then running it overnight that'll help out you can use two forms of chlorine shock granular chlorine there is dichlor so let's say your stabilizer levels are low you can use dichlor and go ahead and raise the stabilizer level as well as shocking the pool if that's your issue there is granular chlorine calcium hypochlorite that has calcium in it so you're not going to want to use it if your calcium is too high but that is a shock and then you have the liquid chlorine depending on your pool is going to depend on which shock you're going to need 
to maintain that three to five parts per million. Remember, you're gonna always wanna maintain a three to five parts per million of free chlorine at all times. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next videos.